So here we are outside Smith's Toys in Harlow. Um, just have a quick look. I haven't been here for a couple of weeks actually. I've been away on holiday. So let's have a look inside, see if anything's turned up in that time. Um, maybe some interesting stuff. Who knows? Let's take a look. So here we are at the Hot Wheels. Um, looks like the new premiums are here, the Speta Calore. Very cool. Um, this is the Lancia Stratos. Very nice model. That one's a new one. Well, it's actually not new, it's new to premium. We've seen it in um, mainline, of course. But this looks a very nice one. Very cool. Nice. Uh, we've got the Lamborghini uh, Countach in yellow. We've seen it in red in the um, what was that? That was in the uh, Jay Leno's uh, garage. Uh, we've got the Alpha, the Alpha Julia. That's nice. Very cool. Uh, we've got another Lancia Stratos, another Alpha. Oh, and another Alpha. This is a different one. This is the 155Ti DTM touring car in the Martini colours. That's very nice. Very cool. So, what else is in the set? Let's have a look. Obviously there's a couple missing, I think. Let's have a look. Get the camera to focus up. Doesn't seem to want to, but anyway, let's try zooming in a little bit. Oh, that's a bit better. Yeah, so we've got the Alpha, the Lancia, the Lamborghini, the Countach. Oh, it's just the one that's missing. It's the, the new Lamborghini Countach, the uh, LP 604. That one's missing, and uh, the Alfa Romeo GTA there. So, yeah, that's not too bad. Four of the five are here. Yeah, very nice set. What else is there that's uh, new? Not much else. I don't think we've still got some of the boulevards there. Only the Volkswagen bus and the um, Chevrolet the peg warmers, really. Still got a load of these, um, what are they, speed machines. There's some more boulevards down here. Still just all the, yeah, just the Chevrolets. Yeah, plenty of these speed machines. Can't, can't seem to get rid of those. And then they both team up and you can stop fighting what else have we got? Got some more of these uh, team transports. Well, the same, not more. Plenty of them, but they're the same. Uh, five packs. Let's have a look. In fact, Nissan one has turned up yet. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, interesting. Got a few of these Nissan three packs left. A couple of those. And the uh, the usual Jay Leno's garage and Deutsch Design sets. Yeah, very nice. Okay, let's have a look through the uh, main lines while we're here. Pretty full pegs, but this is Smith's toy, so there won't be anything particularly new. Uh, in fact, I think I'll just have a look through them and I'll get back to you if I find anything interesting. Okay, so that's it. That's it from Smith's Toys in Harlow. So, nice to see these uh, Speta Colore models available in the UK. Um, you know, the latest set out, and they're over here already. That's pretty good going. And, um, yeah, I was in another branch of Smith's Toys today, and they didn't have them. So, maybe the Harlow branch was the lucky one that got them in. Yeah, so this is the one of the ones I got, the uh, Alfa Romeo Julia GTA. Uh, not a new casting, um, but... Uh, I don't have it, so this is a good chance to pick it up, and some nice detailing on it. It uh, looks pretty pretty clean in this uh, white, with the uh, green stripe and the green uh, clover leaf there, and the uh, Serpent of Milan there on the bonnet, and some nice detailing on the front there with the uh, the grill, very nicely done, the grill with the little alpha badge on the, in the middle there, and the uh, headlights, and the... Uh, Side lights and indicators and the and the uh, grill work picked out in black. So yeah, very nice little model. This, as I say, I think it was available uh, in the premiums 
uh, a couple of years ago, and was it called the Door Slammers, an earlier sort of premium set, which I didn't have. They weren't available in the UK, I don't think, at that time. Um, but yeah, good to get it in this uh, Spetta Colore set. It's a very nice little model. Got some, uh, some steel type wheels on there, I think they're supposed to be. But yeah, nice model, very nice. So I'm doing this the wrong way around. This is five of five. <laughs> so starting at the, at the end, so to speak. Yeah, let's have another look at the uh, models available in this uh, in this set. Once again, the camera is having a bit of problems focusing up. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so we've got the um, the Alpha 155 uh, there, the DTM touring car, the uh, Lancia Stratos, the uh, Lamborghini Countach, that's uh, an 80s one, 80s Countach, the LP5000, um, the new Lamborghini Countach, the LP800-4, uh, and this one, the uh, Alfa Romeo Giulia Sprint GTA. So, yeah, nice little uh, Italian set there. Rather the cool models. So, yeah, that's the first one. That's the uh, Alfa GTA. Um, the only other one I picked up was the, um, the Alfa 155. I wanted to get the uh, Lancia Stratos, but unfortunately... Both the examples in um, that particular shop had damage to them, so um, I left them. Hopefully I'll be able to pick up uh, another one um, somewhere else along the way. I'm sure I will be. Um, yeah, but this is a nice one. This is the um, the DTM. Um, for those who don't know, the DTM uh, was the German Touring Car Championship from the uh, 80s and 90s. And uh, even though, of course, um, it was BMWs and Mercedes that generally raced in the DTM. Um, for a while, Alfa Romeo um, entered a works team. Um, and this is one of the cars they used, the 155 uh, V6. This was a screaming V6 engine in this. Um, and initially, the, uh, the first season, which I think was 1993, when they completely dominated, uh, the cars were in uh, red, the Alfa Romeo racing red. But I think this is probably a model from maybe um, 95 or 96 where they changed the livery to the uh, Martini sponsorship, which um, even though we don't actually have the words Martini on this car for um, reasons that they couldn't sell it to the uh, three-year-old children um, if they had. But um, basically this is the, the genuine uh, colour scheme for the Martini sponsored cars from about 1995 or 96. So, yeah, looking very nice. Some nice details in this one. Um, very good detailing on the rear there. Um, the Alpha badge there. All the uh, sponsors are, are picked out. The Martini uh, coloured stripes there. The red and blue. And the white uh, white paintwork. And some nice black uh, wheels on there. Looks a very cool car, this. Very nice. Um, yeah, the second uh, DTM car that Hot Wheels have done after the um, Mercedes C-Class with the D2 sponsorship, which we saw in the um, uh, Deutschland, Deutschland design set. Uh, I think this is actually the better one of the two, to be fair. Some nice detailing on the front there. Yeah, that's a nice model. Very cool indeed. Very nice. As I say, hopefully I'll be able to pick up um, a, a nice conditioned Lancia Stratos at some point in the future. So yeah, I didn't bother with the um, the Lamborghini 5000, the um, the 80s one. I've already got that in red, uh, so I didn't think to pick up um, uh, the yellow one. Even though it's pretty nice, it looks good. Um, and as you saw, the, the new Lamborghini 800... Lamborghini Countach 800-4 or 8000-4, whatever it is, uh, that one wasn't available. So again, got to keep my eyes out for that. I'll probably grab one of those if I see it. But yeah, nice set, nice set to, and uh, good to see it in the shops. Um, the only other thing I've got recently which may have interest you is um, something from the K case, uh, which... Um, not the best case in my opinion. There wasn't much there of any interest, but um, I did pick up this um, Audi uh, RS6 Avant uh, in green. So it's, an, it's a very nice model. This Hot Wheels have done a, a great job with this car. Been around for a few years. Um, nice detailing on the front there with the grill and uh, the lights, even the Quattro sign under the uh, number plate. And at the back, we have all the nice detailing there. Lights, license plate, um, it's a 
I can get a better view of that. Uh, even got the uh, RS6 badge there. If the camera will just focus in, there we go. Nice little RS6 badge to the left of the number plates, and of course the Audi uh, logo there. But yeah, nice model. Um, sorry on the pegs. I've got a, I've got it in blue already, and I've been, I was lucky enough to find the Super Treasure Hunt version, the uh, sort of Spectra Flame Dark Red version. So this is the third one, third example of it. But uh, yeah, um, nice. Uh, and to be fair, I think the only thing I'm actually interested in from the K case, it was um, not the best case Hot Wheels have done. Uh, just a lot of repaints and pretty uninteresting castings in it. So um, there you go. Hopefully the um, L case will be better. Okay, well, there you are. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and um, hope to catch you soon. And of course, happy hunting.